good to be for uh, We had just played UCLA in the Fiesta Bowl. Hugh Hyman was the athletic director at Ohio State. I'm coaching at Arkansas. He called me and said, we'd like you to apply for the Ohio State job and interview you. I said, well, how many people are you going to interview? He said, probably four or five, but you're by far the leading candidate. I said, Hugh, I was at Ohio State, served on the staff with you. I've been head coach at William and Mary, NC State, Arkansas. So what in the world are you going to find out in an interview that you don't know about me already or look at the track record? And if I interview in Arkansas, I want to tell you, they will run me out of that state because, hey, we had a better football team than Ohio State had at that time. I said, if you offer me the job, chances are I would come back because I love Ohio State. I was raised in this state. But I'm not going to go through the interviewing process. He said, well, if you change your mind, call me. I said, I wouldn't sit by the phone and that was the end of the conversation. I refused to go through an interviewing process because it's totally unfair to the people of Arkansas. There's a young man by the name of Glenn Mason was coaching in Minnesota. He thought he was going to get the job, came down here and interviewed. He surprised me. He lasted almost a full year before he was let go. You just don't go interview when you're in a school. Everybody thinks their school's better than any other school in the country. And if you even think about interviewing with somebody else, it's a disloyalty. And that, that's what happened. I've never regretted it. You want to make God laugh, you tell them what your plans are. I, I end up at Notre Dame, which is a great school for me, and as Ohio State. So that's what happened. Thank you. Bob, when you get